everyone, JD here with another Gray Man Urban Survival Topic Online. And today is a response video in regards to being tagged by James from Junkyard Fox. Uh, thanks, buddy. Um, appreciate that. Uh, this is in regards to EDC and what I carry with me every day. Uh, it varies little from day to day depending on where I'm going and what the baseline is um, to the area that I'm going to be traveling in. So my clothes might be different. I, instead of a button-down shirt, I might have just like a plain shirt. Um, Instead of pants, I'll have shorts or whatnot, so it really depends on where I'm going. Uh, but for the most part, it's always the same. Uh, I always have a hat on. Uh, I shave my head so I don't want to get sunburned because it just looks bad having just a giant red tomato head. Um, so I always have a hat on at all times with me. Um, I always have sunglasses. This allows me to scan various things in the distance. Um, people don't really make eye contact with you. Uh, it's just another way to stay gray man-ish. Um, but the main reason that I have sunglasses is my eyes are photophobic. Um, they are extremely sensitive to light. If I'm outdoors, I'm wearing sunglasses. That's just the way it is. Um, even if it's overcast, I pretty much always have sunglasses on. So for the next item, I have my Citizen EcoDrive watch. Uh, this thing's solar powered and the battery they say lasts about 20 years. So technically I should never have to replace the battery in this because it just charges itself uh, via the sun and also via just any light whatsoever. Um, this thing is incredibly sensitive to uh, like house lights and whatnot so I mean it's it's really cool it's super accurate um, has a date on it uh, so I like this thing um, can't really say anything bad about it I replaced the strap with a nice leather one um, but I like this very very handy to have so my next two items are on my left arm, and the first one is a CRKT paracord bracelet. I won this in a contest, and it just happened to fit me perfectly. Uh, this gives me some cordage just to have in case I need it. Um, matches my shirt, so that's kind of cool. Uh, unintentional today, but you know, I just noticed that in the viewfinder. Um, but yeah, gives me some cordage. And this third one is something I made out of a blanket roll strap. So it's just got a buckle here. And I just carved it, piece of leather, but I use this as a leather strop. So I can keep all my knives sharpened uh, with me wherever I go. Um, can run any sort of compound on it. Uh, the one I like right now is Herb's Yellowstone. It just doesn't seem to gunk up, even though I might be sweating or whatnot. But this is just a neat little way to have a leather strop with you to keep all my blades handy. Um, so that's just something I do, something I rock. Uh, you know, this is a one-off. I can't tell you where to buy this but you know it's mine so and the last item on my upper body is my hidden woodsman haversack uh, I don't leave the house without this this is always on me or with me within arm's reach uh, I'm not gonna go over what's in here there's just way too much stuff for this video I've already done a video on that so if you want to see exactly what I have in here which is a lot of stuff um, and I'm continuously upgrading it um, be sure to check out that video I'll put a link in the description box below um, but this is probably my my favorite piece of gear that I have not only because it's so functional but it can save a life so the next items I guess you can call it the meat and potatoes of my EDC that's all the stuff that I have on my pockets uh, so let's go into my front right and at the moment, right now, I am carrying the CRKT Homefront EDC. Um, I love this knife. I love the field strip technology. Um, super sharp, uh, made by Ken Ungin. I mean, there's a bunch of videos on this on YouTube right now, so I'm not really going to get into it. But right now, I'm carrying this. It's super thin. I love the super deep pocket clip. Um, yeah, just a great knife overall. Love this thing. Um, usually, what I carry is my cold steel counterpoint one uh, i love this thing too i mean it's just one of the best knives i've ever held uh, just super ergonomic super comfortable the first day i got it i broke off the ambidextrous thumb stud and so i had to replace it with my own Let's see if i can get that to focus anyways um yeah but it i replaced it with a new thumb stud i don't need one on the left hand side just don't open it that way but yeah so love my cold steel um, I'm going to be going back and forth between these um, the cold steel is a little bit thicker than the home front but I mean still a great knife I don't think I'm ever going to take this out of rotation I mean right now I'm just playing around with the new knife so 
we'll see, but that's usually what I keep in my right pocket. So first things first, my left hand front pocket, I have my custom Leatherman Wingman. I call this my little wing after the Jimi Hendrix song. Um, has my knife, has my two screwdrivers, it has the bottle slash can opener. Um, that's all I ever really need. I have a, another Leatherman Wingman, uh, and it's just it's just a little too big for EDC pocket carry. I like something small. I always use these tools. I never really need pliers throughout the day, surprisingly. Um, you know, I mean, that's the biggest feature of a Leatherman, and I just don't ever have a use for it. Um, so, if you want to see how I made this, I can make a video on that. Just leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll go ahead and I'll shoot a video, show you how I did all the washers and stuff, and what order. Um, I didn't have to purchase anything else. This is just all straight from, straight from another Leatherman Wingman. So, I can go ahead and uh, make another one. And the next item I carry with me is my Fisher Space Pen. This is the matte black X mark. The X mark has the flat top on it. Um, I can use this as an impromptu defensive weapon. Uh, the round tops sort of don't give you a very good purchase, but this one gives you a lot of uh, pushing power. Uh, it's always good to have some sort of writing instrument. I mean, I have you know go to a restaurant, sometimes they don't give you a pen to sign, sign the uh, check or whatnot, and um, you know, I mean, it's always just good to have a pen, so I always keep this one with me. Uh, I do have the raw brass regular space pen that has the round top on it, but I prefer this one. I love that it's black, uh, has a semi-custom pocket clip on it, uh, but yeah, this is cool. I like this. Uh, Jack from Black Scout Survival recently did a video on how to make a defensive pen out of a two different zebra pens and so I did that I've been carrying this one around for about a week it's nice I love the concept um, gives you a little bit extra uh, extra reach on pressure points and whatnot so either one is fine depending on your situation I mean it's always good just to have some sort of writing instrument so you know you can have this one you can have this one they're both good uh, I just like having a little smaller pen, so I usually go with the Fisher Space Pen. And the next item I keep in my left front pocket is a 50 cent piece, just a random 50 cent piece, um, not a trick coin. Sometimes, you know, you're out with friends or whatever, no one can figure out where to go to eat. This is sort of the be all end all, let fate decide decision maker. So. Just something I carry. Plus, it's always cool to see a 50 cent piece. They're, I mean, they're not rare, but they are uncommon. And just bring it out and start playing with it on a table or whatever. But 50 cent piece. And the last item in my front left pocket is my 1941 replica uh, raw brass Zippo. And this has a Ranger band on it. And I love the Zippo. I used to collect them when I was younger. I had a collection of about 40, and I have no idea where they are, so I'm getting back into that. Uh, I have four now. It has a great patina on it right now, and it's getting even better every day. Uh, but I love this thing. But the 1941 version is my favorite. I have another brass one that's just the regular Zippo shape, but I like the 1941 more. It has sort of a rounder top. It feels nicer in the hand. Um, it's just a very good lighter. I mean, it, you know, it always works. Uh, some people carry Bix. I just carry this. You know, it's a little more classy when you bring out a Zippo. And uh, so that's that. And that's pretty much all I carry in my front left pocket. So my rear pocket, I have my Flowfold wallet. Uh, this is made out of recycled racing sails. So it's super lightweight. Um, super thin, has plenty of storage space, uh, it's waterproof to a degree, um, but it also floats, which is really cool, and it's just big enough for my needs and purposes. Some of you may use a leather wallet, some of you may use something else, but I don't like sitting down and having a thick wallet in my backside, so I have this flow fold. So the next item I keep hanging off of my belt loop tucked into my rear right pocket is my keys. 
Uh, I have this set up in a very specific way. I have two different houses I go to. So I have my two sets of house keys hooked onto uh, the, this thing here. Um, this way I can remove the keys as needed without having to remove anything else from my rear pocket. Um, on my little key ring here I have a Nightcore tube. Um, cool little lightweight plastic uh, light so it can do up to 45 lumens. That's pretty much all I need it for. I don't need anything brighter than that. Um, it's micro USB rechargeable so I can charge this off of my power system if you've seen that video. Uh, I can always keep this thing topped off. I have a P38 can opener, so this is a backup to my Leatherman uh, mini wing, because um, you never know when you might need one of those. I have a set of Uncle Bill's tweezers, um, I love these things, super, super handy, um, helps get out uh, splinters and stuff. Next thing I have is a two-sided small screwdriver set, has flathead and Phillips on it. Um, this is basically for like eyeglass repair. I also have uh, a mini sharpie that has some duct tape on it and two small little sizes. Uh, the mini sharpie can come off if need be. Um, it's always good to have another sh writing utensil. I have a handcuff key on a night eyes carabiner just for quick access. Um, I don't know, just something to have. Helps fill it out. But tape, I've used tape all the time. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm part of the EDC 101 network, so edc101.com. They have a write-up. Dave did a nice little write-up on how to carry sort of like a little thing to hold uh, electrical tape and, or gorilla tape or duct tape or whatever you want, but uh, this is full of electrical tape, so this is my take on that. Um, I use tape all the time, so that's my key ring. So the next item in my left rear pocket, I usually just have a simple bandana. This one's black. I have multiple bandanas. Um, myriad of uses for this thing. Bandana, super handy to have, super useful. Uh, you can fold it up like this, fits right in your back pocket, offsets your wallet usually. If you have a thick leather wallet, you can always fold it once more so that you're not sitting like George from Seinfeld. Anyways, you've seen that episode. But yeah, so, bandana, multiple uses. So depending on the clothing I'm wearing, uh, right now I'm wearing cargo pants. So in my front left cargo pocket, I have my Archer 3 Night 1A V3. Uh, I love this little light. This is probably, to me, the most perfect sized EDC flashlight you can have. Plenty of features on it. Look on YouTube, there's tons of videos on YouTube about this light, but this is what I carry. Um, this is perfect for me. If I don't have cargo pockets, I put it right next to my little wing in my front left pocket. So that's my flashlight, in case you guys were wondering exactly where my main source of light is. Here you go. Like pretty much every one of you, next I have my cell phone. This is a LG G3. Um, but the main thing I want to talk to you about the cell phone is my case. It is by a company called Spigen, or Spigen, however you want to say that. Um, I've modded it to be hollow in the back so that I can carry a lens wipe for my glasses. Um, I also have attached a metal plate for the magnetic bases for GPS. Also put, in case I need to, like maybe 20 bucks in there, you know, fold up a dollar bill, whatever, have some money, so just an extra way of having a way to store something. And last item on my list is a set of good comfortable footwear. These are New Balances. Uh, these are the 410s. Um, they're one of the only shoes I find that actually fit my feet really well. Um, I have high arches and these things are perfect. I've been wearing New Balances for oh god probably 10-15 years now. I mean, you're on your feet all day long, so you need a good set of comfortable footwear. I wear these when I'm out in the city. Um, I also have a pair of boots that I'll throw up on the screen that are made by Keen. And when I go out hiking or whatnot, I wear those just to have extra protection. Um, also incredibly comfortable, most comfortable boots I've ever worn. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video about my EDC, what I carry on a daily basis. Um, thanks again, James and Junkyard Fox for tagging me. Uh, 
I guess I need to tag two other people. I mean, I'm not a big channel, so they probably won't even see this, but I would really like to see the skinny medic, uh, see what he carries, um, medical, something that's overlooked by a lot of people, and I would really like to see what that guy carries. Um, that would be really interesting. And I would like to see Chris from Drop Forge Survival, because that guy just has a ton of crap, and I would like to see what he carries on a daily basis. I mean, that would be interesting as well. Um, you know, I mean, thinking about that, his EDC would probably be everything plus a kinship sink, you know. But anyways, if you like this video, be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. That would really help me out a lot. Um, be sure to check out edc101.com. Um, there's all sorts of cool articles on there. Um, they feature my videos too. So having a well-thought-out EDC, lightweight, carry it with you every day. That's just doing it with gusto.